All new tonight at 10, West Virginia Public Employees Insurance Agency members, also known as PEIA, are taking their concerns over cuts and budget premium increases up to the state level. It all transpired during tonight's PEIA financial board meeting. 7 News reporter Aliyah Keller is live in the 7 Newsroom after speaking to those impacted by this. Aliyah. Now it all goes back to 2018. Members say the agency promised a fix and funding source, but they never held up their end. Meanwhile, many members aren't happy. PEIA premiums are only going to go up dramatically year after year. This means a 16% increase next year, then another 12% and 9% the years following, unless a change comes. This is a great concern. Um, not only myself as an educator who is insured through PEIA, but also I hear from members every day that they, you know, they're struggling to afford insurance, they're struggling to afford their medication. It's a reality members like Jenny Craig are facing across the board. Some of those affected by this work in education. Others are state troopers, DHHR workers, and social workers. Many are leaving the state because of it. We're seeing um, significant um, staff shortages across West Virginia, across all school systems. Meanwhile, members are calling on the legislators before that gets worse. And we're asking them to work with us and to implore our legislators who really have the power here to find a funding source and a funding mechanism so that those those cuts and those, the budget and the premium increases don't happen. But if no change comes, the PEIA premiums will rise as they're expected to for the next three years. Now the board listened to their concerns, but says it's up to the legislators to make those changes. Live in the 7 Newsroom, Aliyah Keller working for you.